Hey everybody, it's James. No story today. Today is just kind of a collection of thoughts, but I still think you're going to enjoy it. You see, life. What about it? Sometimes you think about it, and lately I've been thinking about it. And maybe it's because I've been doing YouTube, but I've been having youtube thoughts about life. Have you ever heard of a seed? I'm not talking about what you work out with Pamela Henderson on the weekend, okay? I'm talking about a YouTube seed. I'm talking about a target audience, baby. Well, there's this thing, right? It's called a seed. And I've been thinking a lot about YouTube seed. No homo. You see, I've been thinking about who my audience is. What I like on YouTube. You know? Who I am. So not that I really want to emulate other people, but one of the things that I did starting like three months ago when I started this channel again was to find other channels, right? People who are similar. People who might just kind of tell stories in front of a camera. People who may share experiences. People who may share interests. People with crazy dramatic backstories that'll shock and awe. And over the months, I think YouTube has kind of made a good YouTube seed for me. I want to say at least 30% of all my recommendations now are of a fairly particular type of content. And you see, on one hand, that's great news. I'm getting more of the stuff I'm looking for. On the other hand, it's stuff that reminds me of me and it makes me feel bad about me because they're all like what I feel to be worse versions of me. Let's get into it. So on my journey here to find like-minded YouTubers to kind of see where they're at and get ideas, the first channel I come across is called Ben Kesterk. Ben Kesterk is a teenager and his whole channel shtick is going homeless in Detroit. That's right, folks. His whole thing was he was going to sell everything he owned, quote-unquote, go to Detroit, quote-unquote, and be homeless <laughs> to teach the homeless community how to pick yourself up by your by your boot knuckles and, and mow, mow lawns, gosh darn it, out of, uh, straight out of poverty. Well, it didn't take long until he abandoned this idea of going to Detroit. See, initially he was going to go to this, like, really super posh suburb that he super super duper just hoped and prayed everybody would go like yeah that's technically part of detroit but everybody instead went like yeah no that is not at all detroit so now instead he's gonna go to ann arbor or something but it's just a huge grift i mean he it's just so obvious that he has like vehicles and hotels with him like every night he goes to sleep at this bus stop with the very same nice vehicle parked in the very same spot, very close to where he is. Like, he's not really old enough to think this out. It's just, it's just hilarious to me in like 1,000 different ways. Like, I think he had two videos when I found his channel, and he had like 300 subscribers somehow, but now he has 1,000, 1.29K. So this grift has gotten him far, and that's the first channel as this kid, and I'm going to unsubscribe from him too. At this point, I feel like it's, I like kind of laughing at it, but I, I kind of hate the fact that I'm helping him get successful off of a grift that disgusting. But that's Ben Kersturkey. Ben Kersturkey. He's in my seed. I'm in his seed. We're the same type of YouTuber, I guess. I don't know. Another one is a homeless and I believe to be mentally challenged Canadian man named Brent Parsons. And you know, he's a pretty wholesome guy, man. I'm not going to make fun of this guy. He's down there making his videos and he's trying to be happy. I think he is a dishwasher. And not think, I in fact know that. I left him a comment on his channel. He sometimes films himself just washing dishes at work. And he'll bring food home from his kitchen and he'll review it. And usually he's pretty grateful for his food and he's just kind of a nice guy. Pretty wholesome. Not great videos. But I leave him a comment here and there, and that's another another channel that I found on this seed search of this, who am I, man? What does YouTube think of me? What, 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 what other people think of me? When they search for my channel, what other stuff pops up? Well, this is, this is somebody else who pops up. Pretty wholesome, um, homeless Canadian guy. Well, he's not homeless. He does have an apartment. He's just not very well off. Another one is kind of this strange cat that I can't quite figure out. Colm Rooney? He looks like he could be homeless, but he's definitely not. And he's some type of spirituality coach. In this search, it's also pushed me like a lot of spiritual gurus. I don't know why, but it has. And he is one of them. He's a, he's a very small-time 
spiritual guru. There might be something to make fun of here, but he also just seems kind of earnest, so I'm not going to yet. Here's another channel. I like this channel. This guy's got pizzazz. It's a cooking channel. Cooking with gas. Cooking, C-O-O-K-I-N, dash, W-I-T, wit, dash, gas. Cooking with gas. Every video out, every video this guy makes, he starts, cooking with gas, cooking with gas. Something and something's better when you're cooking with gas. Oh, yeah. He's just a lot of fun. Uh, usually he uses like cheaper ingredients and he's a he's a pretty decent cook he's a he's quite the character but he is a good cook he actually makes decent videos so cooking with gas man you sh maybe maybe just check check him out and I don't know why it seated this guy to me I think maybe there's this mental instability pattern that I'm kind of noticing throughout all these channels but other than that this guy's pretty cool he's pretty epic and he makes good looking food Dio Venator. Now this kid is, I think, an Aussie, and his whole thing is that to find himself, man, he needs to go to like the Philippines, or like Thailand. That's his thing. Here, I'm looking at his channel. I make videos talking about self improvement and surviving narcissistic abuse. We're all gonna make it, brah. And in like every third video, he's mentioning something about like. Man, in order to like spiritually make it, I need to go to Thailand. Here's my Patreon. Help me go to Thailand. You know, and it's this um kind of scruffy looking overweight guy who just talks about issues a lot. Another thing that I notice, and he's blown up too. I'm talking kind of fast, but Dio Venator. I also think when I found his channel, he was at like 400 subscribers, and now he's at 14,000. So if I start if I start panhandling for Thailand money and I'm just like, hey man, I don't think I could ever find my soul, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't pay for my lady boy, you know where I you know where I caught that grift from? Because this guy's this guy's making it, brah. He's making it to Thailand, it looks like. And it's just kind of ridiculous. I mean, a lot of it, you know, he makes some music. And I guess that part's pretty cool, but a lot of it is like, stop giving in to temptation, which is funny because like every third video, he apologizes for like not holding to some commitment, which is like some shit I'd do, you know? <laughs> but I guess why I'm bringing up Dio Venator, Venator, this Dio guy, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Some guy grifting for Thailand and like there's all this guru shit peppered in. But if you watch this guy's videos, he's like obviously not put together. It would be like me, instead of saying something motivational, I was like, ladies and gentlemen, here is how you don't fuck your life up. Like, you shouldn't ever listen to me on a video about that, you know what I mean? Like, maybe if I'm telling you to avoid a substance or something, you should listen. But, I don't know. I don't know where all these people with, um, very messy lives get off making these guru videos but like they're so successful man is that what is that what i should do should i just be a fucking guru dio 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 so check this guy out man he's he's interesting he's making it dio venator he's going to thailand what can what can i say another one here is insane it's ian foot i-a-n space f-o-o-t-e so ian foot Foot? Foot? I don't know. But uh, this is basically a Canadian homeless guy who I think has been on meth and institutionalized for like 20 years and is just angry as hell. He is like prime lol cow material. Like, he's making videos daily about how he wants people to die, about how he's going to like purchase weapons. He's absolutely out of his mind. But his videos are so entertaining. You know what I mean? He's definitely not a character that you should um, listen to. <laughs> but uh, Ian Foote, his channel just speaks for itself. And that was part of my seed too. Like YouTube was convinced. He was like, hey, this is this guy's your Jesus Christ. You're going to love him. Entertaining content. But holy shit. Like this guy is going to be on the news one day. And so Ian Foote, check him out. Here's another one. Um, I think it's Motherland. I don't know how to say this one. M W E R M U T H L A N D. Mutherland. It's what I think to be a pretty autistic guy who does like stand-up comedy bits. I gotta actually say some of his some of his bits are really funny. I forgot what it was, but his last video, 
had like one joke in the middle of this eight minute video that made all eight minutes worth it. And he's been doing these videos for a long time. So I'm not making fun of him, man. He's he can tell a joke. It might take him eight minutes, but he can tell a joke. This channel, I don't think, is very entertaining at all. I just kind of subscribe to follow him. It just kind of seems like a potentially future sad situation. Younger guy, I'm assuming he's at least 21, called Pub Pig. He just gets wasted and makes gaming videos. But I, I think it. he just came up to my seed when he's doing this more desperate thing. Or he's like, okay, well, since these get views, I'll just start drinking more. And it just seemed a little sad to me. But that's why I subscribe to him. It's more of a sad thing. Sometimes I subscribe to people because I think they're sad or annoying. I don't necessarily like them. And all my subscriptions are public. And I subscribe to some wild shit. So be real careful when you check out my subscriptions, okay? There's Prelixmund. I don't even know how to begin trying to pronounce this. But he seems like a pretty cool guy. Um, I think he might be like Australian or something. He's been on YouTube for a long time. But yeah, another addict who makes more closer to the whole guru thing but like motivational stuff, which is good in nature. I think there should be that stuff out there in general. It's not quite my thing. I haven't been subscribed to him long, but I have noticed since I have been subbed to him, he relapsed and he was honest about that. So I at least like that. So I'm staying subscribed to him, even if he is a little bit guru-y. There's another guy here who, again, I think his housing situation and probably financial situation are okay. I think socially he's very awkward. Scott Rancifer, he does poetry. Some of his poetry is pretty good, but he is awful at reading it. If you watch one of his videos, just pause it and read it yourself. If you try and listen to him read his poetry, you'll, you won't watch his videos anymore. But, you know, that's kind of cool. He only has like 370 subs and he's been at it for a very long time. But again, he's kind of fitting this very like weird character profile of what YouTube thinks I am. And I guess I am. Stormy Sauce. I have no idea why I subscribe to this channel. This is a very socially awkward furry. But <laughs> they, did, they did one type of like furry meme video and some of the memes were funny. So I gave him a sub. We'll see what... We'll see what they turn out to do in the future, but definitely definitely a character. And this is another interesting one. This guy has been a YouTuber for like 15 years. Really doesn't have any subscribers, and you can pretty easily tell why. Zeganite, Z-E-G-O-N-I-T-E. -E. It's a guy who I think is like a bit older than me. He must be like in his 40s or maybe even pushing 50, and he's just... God damn it, he's the biggest Debbie Downer on the planet. Every single video is a depressing is a depressing something. Women don't like me. He's not really an incel, because I think incels are like very angry. But he is like the nicest, how the most put together, most well balanced incel I've ever come across. He's a very confusing guy. And I honestly need to stop watching his videos. But I I've been watching his videos for a few months just in kind of fucking awe of just how black-pilled somebody can be. And that's Zeganite. Another channel I've recently found is called the Portland Street Boy Podcast. That's not the channel name, though. That's what they call themselves. The channel name is Nastar Warrior. And this is a group of homeless gentlemen are very, very just above homeless. They have government housing. I mean, they are just not homeless. But it's a group of old men who just get lit all day in Nova Scotia. And they call themselves the Portland Street Boys for some reason, though they're in Nova Scotia. But it's exactly what it sounds like. They're just a bunch of old losers who make fun of each other and passerbys. It's entertaining enough. And in that kind of way where it reminds me of who I don't want to fucking be. But I still like the Portland Street Boys. I shouldn't like them, but I do. And here's a channel I just found called Sweet23. This gentleman is definitely not 23. I think he's pushing the big 5-0, but he's definitely a hip gentleman. Like myself, he's homeless, and he's jumping around shelter to shelter, except he's more mobile. You see him out there in the world pedaling around with his bike. Well, let's just let's just cut to the chase. He has nipple piercings. He has he has tiny nipples and giant nipple rings, and he never wears a shirt. So that's what you see. You just see two big old millimeters 
thick metal bars coming out of these little nipples and this big old dog chain that he wears. No shirt. I mean, it is. Other than that, though, he seems like a great guy. You know, his, uh, his uh, outlook on the world's a little bit different than mine, but it's just those nipple rings. They're always staring at me. I just subscribed to this guy, and I already know I'm going to watch more just for the fucking nipple rings. Really, though, he is pretty funny and insightful. Uh, Sweet23. He's doing some similar stuff. Check him out. And he's got nipple rings. Giant ones, though. Like, have you ever seen a minotaur? It's like the cow man. And the cow man always has this big old minotaur nose ring. And he has, like, two of them. And these tiny white boy nipples. Just these two big old minotaur rings. It's crazy. And so, yeah, that's kind of like a list of characters, you know, you know, definitely, there's definitely some mental illness going on. There is some financial instability, some definite weird topics. And by the way, I, I, this is just some people I'm subscribed to. It's shown me like way more and of a lot of things of like very religious nature, you know, like people trying to preach of some like inner God and some rapture coming tomorrow. It is just giving me like schizo clicks so it makes me wonder if i i'm part of this seed you know what i mean if i'm not just being seen this but indeed youtube thinks that anybody who sees me must also be into this other stuff so i ask thee do you also sub to some other weird motherfuckers out there or am i like your one and only homeless guy what's up here what exactly is this relationship thanks for watching this video and really it's a serious question. I'm honestly asking, is your recommendation page filled to the brim with schizotubers?